Okay, so I want to do a deep dive into some of Jax's um, manipulative and toxic behaviours which have been observed and called out. Um, I wanted to do this because I think that um, this behaviour has really accumulated over time um, and Jax is really at this point a walking red flag. Um, I think it all began or a lot of people started to see it when Paige expressed her insecurity about Jax's heart rate being increased the most by his ex-girlfriend Gemma and his response was to say um, to Paige you're being pathetic. He also said I don't understand how you can have a problem with that mate. Um, so his instant reaction there was to belittle her by calling her pathetic. Um, I think calling her mate as well almost makes her question um, kind of is their relationship now platonic? You know, it's not a very romantic thing to call your girlfriend. Um, and, you know, pathetic, calling someone pathetic is very belittling. It's a really loaded word and it was unnecessarily um, rude and scathing um, but also um, you know he was gaslighting her by saying he doesn't see what her problem is um, with his heart rate um, being raised the most um, by his ex. This was completely irrational behaviour on Jax's part um, but he knew what he was doing. He was playing mind games. These are classic mind games to break down her argument and react so disproportionately offended by her genuine concerns about his attraction to her, or possibly to his ex, that she would possibly um, fold and double down and possibly even apologise to him. Luckily, that didn't happen, but he definitely tried to flip the situation on her. Um, on another occasion with Paige, he kind of casually asked her whether she still thought that he'd leave her for a prettier girl. Again, that's kind of eroding at her, you know, at her self-esteem, bringing um, kind of mythical women, mythical attractive women into the equation and, um, you know, making her doubt herself. Um, him also questioning her, he's putting that idea into her head as well. And also there was an argument that he had with Gemma where he said, well, you're a clown, so shut up. Um, again, we're seeing evidence of name calling and dismissive and rude comments towards women um, that he's involved with. And the issue with this type of behaviour is that when it becomes frequent, it will inevitably eat at someone's self-esteem and sense of self-worth. And the other person on the receiving end of those comments then start to step on eggshells to avoid the other person from berating, name calling or erupting on them. Now, these are textbook scenarios and characteristics which fall under manipulative and emotionally abusive behaviour. Um, and we're seeing examples of this with Jax um, and how he's treating certain women in the villa. So let's have a look at some tweets um, about Jax and his behaviour. Someone says, sorry now, but Gemma just agreeing with Paige's opinion about Jax, even though he, she knows he's a red flag, annoys me a tiny bit because B, tell her what he's really like. Someone else says, oh my gosh, Jack's calling Paige pathetic and telling her to F off and she's still sitting with her legs around him. Girl, neon red flags here. Another person said, personally, I think the whole Jack's opening up at night to Paige and showing his emotional side is a routine he has done many times before in order to make girls think they're the ones to change him when really he is and will always be a slimy little rat. Um, and another said, seeing too much about how Gemma should have warned Paige about Jax and prevented the situation. The only person at fault is Jax. Stop blaming women for the behaviour of men. Now, Paige and Gemma aren't the only women. I think that um, Jax has been kind of rude or inappropriate towards. Um, and I wanted to discuss... Um, Jax's um, scenario with Molly and Cheyenne. So I'd like to point out that whilst Jax was interrogating Molly or having a chat with her in a really arrogant way, um, 
and it was a flirtatious chat but you could see that Jax was being quite arrogant um before he dismissed her for Cheyenne he actually said to her if two blondies come in tonight would you panic now why would she have anything to panic about this is again um, him using that tactic of sowing seeds of doubt into someone's mind about their level of attractiveness again it's language designed to pit her against non-existent women um, in hypothetical situations in order to make her feel so insecure um, he proceeded to then say um, you still think you've got a fair chance so instead of you know being honest and telling her where he stands with her he's trying to make her feel like she has to compete and that there's competition um, as a grown adult why play these manipulative games with people he then compared her to Cheyenne um, and said I wonder who I'd have more fun with at this point he's literally talking about women like they're objects um, he then went on to dismiss Molly and pursue Cheyenne which you know it's neither here or there whether he's entitled to do we know that he's you know coupled up with Paige but the way in which he toyed with Molly making her think she had a chance before blatantly choosing Cheyenne was very deliberate and sadistic in nature and it was intended again to break her down um, you know put her down a few pegs and kind of wound her self-esteem now it's not only women who've been on the receiving end of um, Jax's behaviour, um, former contestant Remy also spoke about clashing with Jack as you can see in the headlines here, um, also um, I'm quoting from um, an article in the Irish Mirror um, which says axed Love Island contestant Remy Lambert has revealed how he came to blows with Jax O'Neill in a slew of nasty unaired scenes um, and it says there was a lot of stuff that wasn't aired, a lot of stuff going on. So basically me and Jax got into quite a lot of arguments and it just made my experience SHIT. People were saying it's because he's got a rugby persona, but you can't treat people like that, he added. Remy said he was not the only male in the house that Jax has been having secret clashes with, but he was alone in standing up for himself. Um, and when pressed about what the clashes were about, Remy explained he was just trying to get on me before revealing the rugby player would constantly mimic his voice and say things like, my name's Remy, I'm hard and I'm from Manny. Now, this behaviour is absolutely disgusting. This is actual bullying um, that you know is being described here, mimicking someone's voice to belittle them again. Um, saying I'm hard and I'm from Manny. To me personally, I think Remy's a really good looking guy. I personally think that although Remy didn't have a standing in the hierarchical order of the house with the guys, something about him threatened Jax or, or rattled Jax. Um, I'm not going to speculate what that is at the moment, but I do think it's maybe something to do with, you know, Remy's um, the perception he had of Remy, I think it's really telling that he said, oh, I'm hard and I'm from Manny. So he was taking the mick out of his Mancunian accent, but also saying I'm hard. Not at one point did Remy ever give off the impression that he was being a hard man or, um, or a macho man or anything like that. It seems like he um, set off some kind of insecurity within Jax to make him treat him um, in that manner. But the fact that producers haven't stepped in didn't step in he hasn't received any warnings about his behavior not only towards Remy but some of the ladies in the house especially Paige I think it, I think it's disgraceful why do you think he's being allowed to get away with this behavior I would love to know please let me know in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video